sorry. The end of a working day. A scaffold and a ladder has been erected. People are now coming home from work. Slightly a little bit different for the police and fire services because it shifts. We're now coming into what's considered out of hours services. So this morning, for those who've been with me all day, if you haven't, you might want to go back to my live this morning where I was abruptly interrupted by two police officers who I will not even allow them now to tell me why they are here. Because if they say anything that is derogatory, disrespectful, defamation, discrimination, I can't prove it. So they have now been told, don't ring me, don't come to my door. You send it to me in writing and then I will reply to you with all the evidence and proof of what you're doing. Now, the funny thing is, is Dean, for the first time today, has gone, I want their numbers, I want their things. And I kicked off of him a bit going, I ain't having you doing this because I've already had uh, Aaron and Face Dad shoot his mouth off and cause even more stuff, saying stuff that actually was pins in my cupboard that wasn't even true. Graham, who was my ex-husband, turned around and called me a professional fantasist, which was used in the actual court work, even though he didn't actually say it. The social worker said he had said it. He then stood in the court and said, I didn't say that. She said that. It was still not even removed from everything, even though it was the glue. And it was the social worker that said it, trying to say it was my ex-husband. Now, he even stood it in court and said, no. That social worker is the one that actually said that based on something else that I'd said. Talking about EDS, they're asking whether it's true. Am I faking it? Because people can't get their heads around the fact that I have such a debilitating condition, yet I am not sitting in a case in a wheelchair. Um, I'm not, you know, I am still trying. So anyway, Portsmouth City Council, the chief executive, is very aware of what is going on. So I've just put your bill up today, massively. You sent two police officers to my door, whether or not the police helicopter, dead on over my house hovering between five to two and 10, 15 minutes after and on, whether that is associated to making sure that I didn't have a big protest here or making sure that I didn't, I don't know, I could have kidnapped one of their fire engines if I'd really wanted to. I only got to close that road. I only got to close that road, holding a fire engine and say, give me back my kids, mate. But why would I do that? Because if that fire engine was needed for a fire, I would never, ever, ever want anybody to have to be hurt or delayed because of anything that I've done. Now, the two little police officers have got a massive big job to do and there is a massive big drug culture here and most people don't know themselves. So if they want to come to my door, I expect it to be returning Aaron and Faith. Unless I have called the police because of a criminal matter going on, then I don't expect to ever see them other than from a nice neighbourhood little watch. And if they want to speak to me on the streets, that's fine. These police officers turn their heels on me, mate. They don't even speak to me on the streets. So I'll come to my door. Because if you ever, Mrs. Cross the Road, bring the police to my house again, today I brought you a fire engine. Do it to me tomorrow or cause the fire.